going on, Brian Maxwell? I'm checking in out here at Mossy Buick GMC in New Orleans. Um, right now, I'm in the pre-owned store, and this store is real cool. They got the pre-owned. Then, if you look down there, this, this is the new building, and then over there is the actual service department. So it's real cool the way they got the layout going. Um, but today, what I'm going to talk about is a couple of things, two deadly words in your process. One of them is the word by, and the other one is the word today. And you may be wondering, why are those two words that can really have a negative impact on what you're doing? But I'll get into that. In the meantime, though, I always talk to you all about how there are young people that have gone through the training, listened to the information and the materials, that are actually out here producing, making some noise, and generating some money for themselves in the game. And whether you're 19 or 90, if you can walk, talk, chew gum, and your brain still works, guess what? you got the ability to help people. So I'm bringing in one of my young bugs, my man, Keenan right here. Keenan, give me your name. Keenan Francis at Marcy Buick GMC. How y'all doing? Marcy Buick GMC. Now, Keenan, uh, it's the month. It's August the 19th. Where you at for the month so far? About nine and a half. Nine and a half. So he's almost to 10 cars, middle of the month, 19 years old. And how long you been here? Been here for about two months. This will be my third one on. Okay. Two months, third one on. Almost at 10 cars, 19, close to the middle of the month, still with 12 days left. Kenny, what do you think of some of the things that have helped you be successful in this? Well, I think the first biggest attribute would be the sales chain I went through with Mr. Maxwell himself. Because I started out at Ray Brand, I was really looking for an opportunity. I had nowhere to go, no job, no nothing going for me. Went to Ray Brand, talked to Mr. Maxwell, got set up for an interview, then got into the training. My confidence shot through the roof. I, as soon as my confidence went up, I felt like I could sell anything, and anything <laughs> was going. Um, other than that, he teaches some valuable stuff about what your mindset needs to be, the type of things you're going to want to do on the sales floor, outside on the sales lots. You go, he's going to learn. You're going to learn a lot of stuff about basically becoming the perfect salesperson. If you're looking for a great start, young age, old age, any way you at, no matter what age you're at, I'm 19 years old. I'm starting out on the top three right now for this month. Let's try to get it to top number one. But Mr. Maxwell is the perfect man to help you out. He'll get you started, get you going, get your training, get you everything started up, and you'll be smooth and going in the same direction I'm trying to go at right now. And I, I believe he's going to hit that number one. And make sure y'all do me a favor. Post a comment in here and let me know, do you have confidence that the young man, Keenan, is going to hit number one? Now, let me jump back on task real quick. And we're talking about buy and today. Why these two words are so deadly? Number one, when you use those two words in a situation with tells my, hey, are you looking to buy something today? What it does, anxiety kicks in and they begin to freak out. You know why? Because a lot of people tell themselves on the way, hey, I'm not buying anything today. And so when they hear what's called a trigger word, it makes them say, oh my God, the word buy, they expect me to do this. And then the word today, guess what that does? Again, increases anxiety. It's a trigger word. When you can use other words that mean the exact same thing, which is called a synonym, which will Will not trigger your customer to have such a negative reaction uh, like using the word invest the word invest uh, has far less negative impact on your customers than the word buy and as opposed to today what about right now what about immediately? What about as soon as possible? Hey, listen, you and your family have the opportunity to start enjoying this vehicle immediately. You and your family have the opportunity to start enjoying your vehicle right away. These are words that have the same exact meaning, but guess what? They don't generate the same type of a negative response, or should I say the negative feeling from your guests. So make sure when you're interacting with people, make sure that you really think this thing through. When they're on the way to your store, they're nervous, their anxiety is on 10, and they dread the fact of having to deal with some sleazy salesperson that's gonna to try to stick it to them. And the worst thing salespeople do is they walk up and they say, hey, ma'am or sir, what is it that you're interested in buying today? Okay, well, those two deadly words right there just made their defensive wall go up 20 feet tall and eight foot wide, and guess who did it? The salesperson who put foot in mouth and is wondering why things went sideways. At the end of the day, when we're going out to greet and introduce ourselves to somebody, we shouldn't be focused on what they're there to buy at all anyway. Our primary objective should be to introduce ourselves to this person, to get their name. Our second objective is to get this individual inside or individuals inside where we can sit them down and we can begin the qualifying process to identify what the best possible options are for this person or persons. The next thing is all about vehicle selection. After that, we want to make sure that we take them outside to actually present the vehicle, better known as a walk around. And if you haven't seen it, I posted an awesome video. It's been making a lot of noise on LinkedIn and other social media platforms. And we're trying to get it to do the same thing here on YouTube, but it's how to do a walk around that helps you sell a vehicle. And then after the walk around, what comes next is the demo drive. After the demo drive, we come back in, we do the dealership and the service tour. After that, we get them prepped as far as for going in the box with the business manager. 
We got vehicle delivery and we got follow up. And so everything has its phase and has its steps and whatnot. But you can do this entire process without using the words by and today, using synonyms, invest, purchase, you know, uh, using words like right now, immediately, you know, will use this mean the same exact thing. So when you're going through your sales process, as far as your word tracks, make sure you look them over and look at any words that are in your process that are considered trigger words, things that can be associated with negative experiences that folks may have had at the dealership in the past. And when you identify those, look for other words, better known as synonyms. You can go to Google and you can type in the word, type in synonym for by synonym for today and learn how to utilize and leverage those words in your process and watch what happens to the mentality of your person if you pay attention to the videos that I post I dig deep into not just what the step is in the process but what the psychology is behind it because people buy 90% based off emotion and back it up with 10% logic so if you're trying to help somebody buy from a logical standpoint you will lose every day of the week why because we don't know the intellectual capacity of this person do they have 6th grade education, 8th grade, 12th grade, some college? We don't know. But one thing we do know is that every human being on this planet has what's called feelings. So it's not as important how a person thinks as it is how they feel about a particular product or service that you are offering them. So make sure that when you're engaging with folks, our objective is to help this person feel comfortable, and to feel confident that we can help them make a smart, safe buying decision. It is not there to sell them a car, truck, or an SUV. It's to help them to buy the vehicle that they feel is the best suited for what it is that they need. When people call sales the numbers game, I think that's full of crap. Because I took, a, if I took a thousand people who have who who love Ford, and I set them down and tried to push a Buick or a GMC on them, guess what? You know, I may have some success or I may not. But if I took a hundred people who have a slight to a high interest in GMCs versus the thousand people who had an interest in Fords, guess what? I'll have more success in the 100 GMCs customers than I would the thousand Ford ones. Why? Because the amplitude of the need, the value in the particular product or service. So it's not necessarily the quantity as it is the quality. You know, there are some people that get in front of four or five people a day in order for them to move one, and there's others that can get in front of two and have the same exact impact. So uh, at the end of the day, it's all about making it easy for people to do business with you at your store. And if you're listening to this video and you can, you want to learn and kind of grasp the psychological concept behind it, I mean, hell, you just want to get some, be able to go through a process that helps you convert more people to customers. You want to learn a system that helps you to be able to hold more money on the front end of your deals. You want to be able to utilize methods that will help you increase your overall performance at your store to make those commission checks bigger, also to make those units move a lot faster, a lot more fluently and more consistently, then this is the right place because inside the description of this video, which is really simple, all you do is click that little arrow, look in the description and click the link. Or if you don't even want to do that, go down to the comment section as you'll see, I have it pinned, is the link to the Ultimate Online Automotive Sales Training Program and this will totally blow your mind. Because right now available is a $1,000 automotive sales training program that's online available to the general public for only $65 for a very limited time. In the next few days, it's going right back up, okay? But right now, you can take advantage of the How to Dominate at the Dealership Sales Training Program complete with over three hours of audio and video training taking you through every step of the process not just what to do but what to say when to say it and how to ask it and what you can expect as far as from your customer but it also takes you through the how to drive Facebook leads which you can take and implement at your store immediately to identify people in your Facebook network or in other people's Facebook network that likes your product interested in your service and is looking for your help you also get the 100 success tips which is 10 videos to help you stay motivated and driven through the game the same thing used by successful men and women all over the world. You also get access to over 40 word tracks. Learn how to overcome shop around. Think about it. Talk to the spouse. My price, the price is too high and my trade. Never again will you have to worry about being stumped by those when the customer use them. From here on out, you'll know how to overcome them and move forward in your process smoothly. You also get access to online traffic search. which will teach you how to leverage Snapchat, Instagram. This too is two and a half hours worth of video. You get all of this over 10 10 hours of audio video, you have the digital sales training manual, you have the ebook to dominate on YouTube, all available to you for literally $65 for a $1,000 program for the next few days. So click that link in the description, go on over. Oh, and the big bonus when you start, you have access to the private coaching sessions with me every week. So click the link and get started.